perhaps and to finalize, you know, I think it is important to uh, remind our audience that uh, the management of any cancer, specifically prostate cancer, cannot be done by one person alone. I do believe in the importance of uh, putting the right team of people, you know, under or around the patient with one goal and one goal alone is, it doesn't really matter, you know, who is taking care of that patient at a given time. It's just to make sure that we put the right team of people supporting that patient, those patients needs, you know, to maximize their outcome. In my practice, obviously for prostate cancer, I think it's imperative and of paramount importance that we have a very close relationship with urology, with radiation oncology, with nuclear medicine, with the genetic counseling team, and certainly with palliative care medicine. I think that is imperative for us as to work on a multidisciplinary manner to ensure that the patient that we're seeing is getting the best of each of these groups because there is no doubt, you know, through the natural history of prostate cancer, that patient will need someone's help in among those group of people. I think genetics is becoming part of the team nowadays, obviously with the DNA repair uh, deficiency data and the importance of germline line testing. So I think it's super important for us. A lot of patients in America are getting a lot of uh, different molecular platforms, NGS paneling and so on, that requires a different skill set to explain to the patients what those panels really mean. And lastly, I remind you that although we have done an extremely great job, you know, advancing the field in prostate cancer, we still see a significant proportion of patients dying from metastatic castration resistant disease. And although we are moving many of the agents that we use now in the castration resistant disease to the metastatic sensitive or castration sensitive space, you know, NSAIDs, AB, chemotherapy, and so on, I think the important part is that, you know, once you develop advanced prostate cancer, you're likely to die from your prostate cancer. And I think it's very important to actually have the right approach, the right team of people, you know, supporting that patient understanding the right sequence of event, but again, it resides on that multidisciplinary approach to be able to provide the patient the best care that that patient deserves. Patient access at my institution at Simon Cancer Center has become and has, was always uh, of paramount importance, but for me, it's, it's hugely relevant. Uh, as soon as we hear that someone needs to be seen, we're making every effort for that patient to see our groups, Oftentimes, those advanced patients come from the medical oncology group, and we outsource those patients to some extent uh, and get help, if you will, from radiation oncology and urology. But the reality of it is, no matter what, how the patients enter the system, I think it's imperative that multidisciplinary teams are seen and taking care of a pain, men with advanced prostate cancer.